<laughs> Good girlfriend. Hey guys, welcome back. So time for another episode of the Apothecary Diaries, episode four, and this one's called The Threat. So last week was all about love and romance. I thought it was going to be like a scary one, but this woman was pretending to be like a, a ghostly spirit dancing up on the on the walls. But she was faking it just so that she would be forced to leave and then she could go and be back with her, um, her beloved. <laughs> So that was a great episode. And I did get some clarification um, on a previous video where there was a moment with Momo and this uh, one of the ladies and she broke a jug, but it turns out the thieves who who stole Momo and sold them sold them to the palace po are posing as family. So they were they were taking money out of her pay. So the whole breaking of the jug was gonna negatively impact their financial situation and Momo was gonna get like a, a pay rise because she was taking the poison thing. So I was misconstrued in that moment. I was like, wait, why is she being mean to Momo? But she was actually being cool. So that was a um, nice moment. Thank you, comments. You're amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into episode number four, The Threat. Hey guys, so check out my Patreon link down below with all my socials. So come say hi, don't forget like and subscribe. There's a, a guy working downstairs right now in the unit below and he's doing a bit of construction or something. I think he's drilling. It's making a hell of a racket. It is echoing through my entire unit. Like the walls are vibrating. I'm trusting in the voice isolation, which I've got switched on on the mic. I've done some testing. It seems to be working, but I'm nervous that there's going to be like a lot of buzzing in the background. So I'll take out what I can. So if it is there, I'm, I'm hoping that it could be reduced. But like I said, I'm, I'm trusting in the voice isolation right now to, to do its thing and, and take it out for me because <laughs> it'd be so annoying. I don't have to do a whole video reaction again. It's so good. It's so it's, The song's amazing and the animation is incredible. All right. Momo, Jinshi. Uh, so many characters and the names. Um, I, I just suck at it, so bear with me. I know it's episode four in. I'm going to get a handle on it by season two, I'm sure. <laughs> Wow, wow. It needs to be more luxurious. Wow. Rude. Oh god, yeah. So she's still doing the, the the poison testing thing. She smells it, tastes it, but she does have an immunity to poison to some degree because she's been testing on herself. Mm-mm, yamo. What if she just wanted to mess with people and say there's no poison, but she, you know, so don't make an enemy out of her, she'll she'll get you killed. Oh shit. The rumored apothecary? Rumored? The Empress words are words from heaven. Don't lose your head. See, you got no choice. It's not a it's not a request. Feed <laughs> <laughs> them poison. Lady Lihua. So she's sickly. Right, okay, it's that lady with the, the powder. The poisonous powder. She hates it. <laughs> I read that as impotent for a second. Same deal. Bye. So Lady Leoa is still sick with the face poison, the, the powder, the powder poison. You know what I mean? Shut up. Right on. Yep. A lot of fiber, gotta flush it right out of there. Right, because she's filled, yeah, because she's giving her high fiber, a, a high fiber diet, those ladies are like, this food is trash. She has to feed them too, right? She's gotta get revenge. Probably not poison, but give him the shits. She doesn't need peasant food. Oh, yum, but no, 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 not good. Rich. Yeah. She's not well, you idiot. Is that crab? I like crab. See, obviously she's... <laughs> 
They're idiots. Let Momo do her job. She's been he she's been sent here by the Emperor, for God's sake. Bad air? <laughs> so cute. But those those ladies are annoying. The Emperor sent her here. I feel bad for her. Being mistreated. Wait, are they doing this on purpose? Yes, we do. Oh no, she's Padme. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is how rumors are started. <laughs> he gives her the ick. Right? You're going against the Emperor's wishes. Numb nuts. You were! You were denying Momo entry and looking after the lady. They, they can be. Oh, it's making me frustrated for her. But, oh, okay. What's his name? I was going to call him Jinsing. That's, that's different. It's T, right? Oh, the names are not sticking. Jinshi. It's all good. At least he's pulled some sway and got her into the room at least so she can try and help her. Now, this is going to make you shit. Bucket. Buckets, ladies. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, is that the powder? Are they still putting the powder on her? You fuckers. Are they doing her up with the powder? Oh, you fuck knuckles. Slap them all. <laughs> you idiot. There you go. Thank you very much. Yep, that's called the slap bitch. I'm chastising an idiot. She's pulling her by the hair. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Go, Momo. Wow, she's scary. She knew it. She knew it was poisonous, right? Either she's as malicious intent or ignorance. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Good girlfriend. That was awesome. Yes, ma'am. Wow. The tables have turned. Wow. Women are terrifying. <laughs> yeah, you did. You, you owned them. Schooled them real well. That was awesome. They were still... Putting the stupid poison powder on her. I wasn't malicious, they were just stupid. She's... <laughs> they're scared of her now. Now they're doing what she says. <laughs> she won't be boinged out of this room anymore. Yeah, flushing it all out. Fuck you, back off. Go Momo! Oh. Jeez, yeah. All the powder was supposed to have been gone. Dumbasses. Like, wasn't it public knowledge that the powder was poisonous? Yet she kept using it? Idiot. Idiot. That was an awesome Momo moment. A Momo, a Momo moment. <laughs> I like how he's always sparkly. <laughs> She's not having any of it. Dude. 
She could have just refused the food. Small part of her does want to live. Her baby. That's so sad. Poor little guy. Died out of ignorance. Getting stronger day by day. The Emperor is going to be very impressed. This rumoured apothecary. Well... She's definitely coming across some adversity, but she's rising up to it. I mean, that moment with the attendants was gold. <laughs> Absolute gold. Oh. How long has it been? Two weeks? I'm so sorry I nearly killed you. Okay, okay, look, she must have felt pretty awful once she realised what had happened and what she'd been doing. Momo set her straight quite bluntly. <laughs> she is exhausted. When you're that tired, you can sleep on any surface. Hard wood, but she has crashed out within seconds. Wait, 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 is that the lady? Oh, oh she's come to take care of her. That's nice. Oh. Okay. The tension and the shape are exquisite. Use what you got, baby. What? What? Wait, what? What did she say to her? The gift. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? She gave her a sex tip? Uh, use your assets to please the Emperor, pretty much? Wow. Okay. <laughs> At least she's appreciated here, goddammit. Wow. <laughs> Emperor's got a good life. What? What's a curse? Oh, oh, this is leading into the next story. Okay, we've got some kind of a plague, some kind of virus or something. What a wonderful show. <laughs> I want to hear what she said to the to the lady. What did she whisper in her ear? She... Just curious. <laughs> Under direct orders from the Emperor himself, Momo tries to take care of the, of the ailing concubine, Lehua, but finds her, her work impeded by Lehua's own ladies-in-waiting. They were, um... Nasty pieces of work. They were not nice to Momo at all. Goddamn. This, this final song. What a voice on that singer. Holy shit. A lot of love for our Momo in the comment section in that app. She's the queen and a lot of people's favorite character in a lot of anime this season. Next episode. What? This so fighting. Covert operations? Alright, so the, the preview for next week doesn't give anything away, which is good. But we just saw that guy at the end of that episode with his hands and he's saying it's a curse. So something 
something spreading or happening or maybe i don't know i don't want to put my mind in the gutter or anything but there's something <laughs> something devious going on in this palace so the the emperor sending momo to take care of the lady lihua who is still suffering the, the effects of the poisonous power because her ladies in waiting the ones who were meant to be looking after her was still applying it to her face even though it's been decreed as poisonous it was meant to be gone but the stupid lady was still doing it because she wanted the lady to look beautiful and she thought that she would appreciate it but she was sabotaging the whole thing and making it worse and she uh, it wasn't until Momo kicked her ass did she realize how wrong she was. I think when she kind of got relieved from her suspension and she come back and took over the duties of looking after her and the lady asked her to get some water, that was when she realized, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't realize what I was doing was killing you because initially I thought, is this malicious? Is she really trying to kill this lady because she knows about the poison being poisonous? But no, she was just stupid. And Momo, what a moment for her to put these ladies in their place. And then I was just all, yes ma'am after that. That was amazing. Women are scary, but also they are confident and amazing and, and, and wonderful and would be lost without them in our lives. So full respect to Momo doing what she did. She had that inner confidence that just come out of her after being boinged out of the room so many times. She was like, mm-mm. Hell no. And that was amazing. It, was, it really cemented her as this incredible character. She's got so many layers to her, but she is smart. She will not take any shit. She knows what she's on about. She's incredible. And she is the main reason I'm coming back to this series because she's such an incredible character. And um, not Jinsing, Jinshi. I don't know where the plot of this story is going. I'm wondering if it's going to be like romantic between the two of them down the track. Don't spoil anything, but... I think he might. Well, one of them is going to break down the other barrier. Well, we know he's kind of crushing on Momo real bad because that's what he does. But Momo's like, mm -mm. but I'm thinking he might win her over at one point. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where it's going, but it's a fun watch. Anyway, guys, please do your thing. Comment down below. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.